Hello and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. Today again we're joined by Mr. Richard Holden and we're going to be making a Italian influence burger. Yeah, we're going to do an Italian influence burger. We've got some Parmesan cheese that's going to go in, so it's going to melt really beautifully and give us a nice uh, juicy finish on our burger. We've got some garlic, some rosemary, um, a few of the bits and bobs as well. We've got some mozzarella cheese and some roasted pepper and garlic salsa mixed with a little bit of mayo, so lots of Italian influences there. Um, rump cap in the bowl we've been to the butchers and they've minced as a kilo and a half of rump cap so not your typical mince it's got some great flavor to begin with so we're just going to enhance that we're not going to go in and adding lots of different things that are going to mask the flavor um but yeah that's what we're going to do today and in terms of barbecue we've got a uh, weber mass touch 57 centimeter set up on a direct heat it's already preheated it's sat around about 250 degrees centigrade so we'll get on with making some burgers Right, so okay. if I can give you a couple of jobs, if yep. you can grate the parmesan for us, yep. this is about 200 grams, we're going to put about half of that in. Okay. And I've already um, peeled some garlic cloves down there for you. It's right, okay, four, no problem. Four or five. So while you're doing that, we'll just get the uh, get some pepper in, so freshly grated. A few good twists, and then we'll take some of the mold and sea salt. I'm not going to put too much of this in because we are going to get some saltiness from that parmesan. So if I was to put the regular amount, what you might normally put in for this amount of um, beef, it would be particularly salty. Um, I've also got some rosemary down here. We'll strip off a few of these leaves and uh, roughly chop. I've already got some done down here, but um, we're doing the Italian ones. You make burgers at home. I make burgers a lot. Now, but you make burgers at home, don't you? What kind of things are you putting in there? Um, I've done, I do, it depends which one, what type of meat I'm using. I've done some turkey ones with um, dried apricots in them and things like that, Lovely. nice ones. Um, you can do them if you want. I'd, I have been known to use crackers, put crackers in to make them really big. That's one of the- uh, Right, okay. Like a, similar to a rust yeah. or a yeah, binding agent. Let's add them up. Cool. There's lots of different things you can do. Um, if you wanted to put some onions in there, you could put some diced onion in. You could also um, caramelize your onion before you pop it yeah. in as well. So lots of different things with burgers. It's, it's you know, we're taking the Italian influence today. It's, um, it's just so simple. So rosemary, we've got about four or five sprigs. That's all chopped up. That goes in. So we've got the Parmesan, the garlic. How are we doing with that? The thing with these microphones, you just need to scrape off the back yeah, of that. So get it all done. We'll get that through. And then, um, just have a bit of a tidy up and then I think we're about ready to press those out. But obviously need to mix it first, don't we? Yep. So, right, that should do us. Let's uh, scrape that off. Okay. There we go. Right. Get our hands in. So the thing that I like about putting, putting cheese into the burger we're going to pop some cheese on top at, towards the end. We've got some fresh mozzarella there that we're just going to pop on at the end. Um, but the thing about putting the burger, the, the, the cheese in with the burger is that it goes all the way through the meat and then as it cooks, it starts to melt. So you get this, it's kind of one of those little subtle flavors because you get the yeah. flavor of it, but you can't see it. And it just helps to keep the, uh, helps keep the burger nice and juicy. So that's all nicely mixed. Got some beautiful flavors of the, um, the rosemary and the garlic and and everything coming up from that. So uh, we'll clear this down and we'll, we'll use the burger press to shake these out. Okay. Okay then, Richard. So we've finished mixing all our meat together. Mm -hmm. uh, we've divided it into six portions because we're going to make six burgers. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a Weber burger press here and we're okay. going to use it on the quarter pound setting. We are? Yep. Yeah, if you turn that over, you get a, you get a half, half pounder. pounder. We're going to use it on the quarter pounder today. So if you want to just pour a little bit of oil onto the base. This, oh. there we go. And then, um, And then um, that will go onto there. These are quite sizable burgers, really. But the great thing about using this is that they'll all be firmly pressed and they'll be a nice, even shape. So that just comes out. Nice, firm tap. And we've got the dimple in the top. If you make them by hand, they're all right, but you get them all sorts of different sizes. But the basic principle is that you would have a thumb print in the top. Yep. And this has the dome already in there. So, second one on. Give that a nice. The good thing about the Weber burger press is it all strips down so it, you can clean it off afterwards, no bother. Yeah, the top goes in yep. there, doesn't it? Comes off. So, so, we do our 
third one. These, I have to say, the, the parmesan in this. You can smell it already, yeah. yeah. It wasn't, I, I was thinking that it was just the rosemary and the garlic earlier on, but um, that parmesan smells fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna finish off making the rest of these and then we're gonna go and put them on the barbecue. Okay then, so we've finished prepping all our burgers, so I'm just gonna move that use bowl out of the way. Okay. We've got some non-stick spray here. We've got the oil that was kind of in the press to help the burgers come out, but that's obviously coated the outside of the burgers yeah. a little bit, which is a good thing because it will help them to turn over on the barbecue. But just as a bit of an extra, we've got some non-stick spray. Do you want yep. to pop some non-stick yep. spray on? As I've, got the, um, as I've been handling the burgers, I'll put the barbecue. So the, um, we've set this barbecue up for the direct cooking method. If you want to know about the direct cooking method, we have done another video explaining the different cooking methods. So this is the direct method. It's going to so this is a mixture of oil and water so that when you spray it onto the barbecue, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to create a flare up. So burgers, burgers are going to go on to begin with yep. over the area of direct heat. And we've actually left an area on the left hand side with no heat in it, just so that if we need to, we can move them over later on. Okay, so now for the thing that most people struggle to grasp with a Weber. We're gonna put the lid down. I'm gonna put the lid down, I'm gonna leave that lid on there, we're just gonna let them cook slowly. Uh, we'll come back, what, two we're minutes? We're gonna give them two, two and a half minutes, we'll come back and check them, and then we'll, we'll flip have them over. When they're ready, ready to turn over. Okay, so we've given the uh, burgers a few minutes. Just gonna let the smoke clear a little bit. Then we're gonna flip them over. Gently turn them over. Turn them nicely, look at that one. You can see there the nice sear lines appearing on them. Turn them over. And then again, we're gonna close the lid down and give them a few more minutes on that side. So we've just uh, temperature probed these. They're just coming up to about 70 degrees. Go on, there we go. So Richard, do you wanna put the cheese on? Yep. Nice bit of uh, mozzarella cheese going on there. Just gonna take that through probably out of the way now, okay. pop that down. So once we've done that, we're gonna um, close the lid again, let the cheese cool down, uh, melt down, and then we'll get the internal temperature to 75 degrees. Burgers are ready. Burger time. Okay. So what I've got here, just to put a little bit of sauce on the buns, got a mayo mixed with a little bit of roasted pepper and garlic salsa. Just put a little bit of that on the top and on the bottom. Uh, let's have a look at those burgers. They just look Ooh. fantastic. Nice smell. You can smell the rump cap coming through there. So that's on there. Pick up your spatula ready. Yep. These are going to be uh, ready to go here in a moment. So salsa and mayo mix. Let's pop those on there. And then I'll just top those with a few slices of tomato. And some pickles. Look at these. <clears throat> Just pop them on there. Is that yours? Okay. All right. Well, what I should do is we'll just have a slice through this. Look at that. We'll just have a taste of this, because if we try and eat this whole bun on camera, it's gonna just be uh, us eating away. We're not gonna be able to say anything. But I'm gonna have a taste, <laughs> you can have a chat. So if you would like to see, find this recipe, visit our uh, website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. Uh, we're across all the social media flat platforms. Um, we're gonna do some more burger videos to go alongside this one. So we're gonna see us eat plenty more burgers. Um, I think Rich is hungry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know I am. So we'll see you next time.